In this tutorial, I will show you how to texture our 3D character to match the reference image. So in the previous tutorial, we modeled that character based on the 2D image. So now let's go ahead and bring it to life. So let's dive in. So the first step is going to be to unwrap our character. So I'd like to split my scene so we can just left click here and drag to the right side. And since we are affecting the UVs, so I'd like to switch this new menu to this UV editor. So now you can check the UVs of our character here. So we can press tab here while selecting our character and we can press A to check the UVs. And as you can see, it's a complete mess. It won't gonna allow us to accurately texture our character. So we have to fix this. But we, before we can do that, we have to check if we got any modifiers applied to our character. So we can go back here to the object mode and let me just check the modifiers. So we got the subdivision surface modifier. So this modifier is gonna affect the UVs so we have to apply it. But I think the level viewport of three is too much, so we can just reduce it down to just one. But here for the foot. So I think two, it's gonna be fine. All right, so let's just go ahead and apply it. Apply the subdivision. So now we can press tab. We can press A to make sure that everything is selected. And we can press U and Smart UV Project. So let's unwrap it. So now as you can see, we got it at a better and clean and wrap. All right, so let's add a new material to our character. So here I'd like to split my window again, but vertically, so you can click and take it up. And here let's switch from the UV editor to the shader editor. So here we can add a new material. So if you scroll here, you can find this new button. So I'd like to click on new and let's call this material. So let's call it Todd character. So in order to see this material, so we have to switch here from the solid. So let's press Z. We have to switch to the material preview. So right now, if we play with this base color, also here, let's go back to the object mode. So if you play with the base color, so you're going to be affecting the color of your character. But instead of your line on this base color, we have to use an image texture. So I'd like to press Shift A and let's search for image texture. So let me just put it aside here. And I'd like to click on you. So for the quality or for the name first, so let's call it character texture. And for the width and the height, I'd like to give it a 4K texture. So you can multiply it by four. Same thing from here for the height. So the higher the better, but anything between 2K, which is 2000 pixels and 4000 is gonna be better. So here for the color, so we can just keep it black. So you can pick any color that you like because we're going to be creating everything from scratch. So let's click on add new texture and let's go ahead and connect the color to the base color. So the character should be black because this image texture is black. We can also bring it here, the image or the character texture that we just created. So now what we're going to be doing, we're going to be painting on top of these UVs so that we can see that displayed on our character. So now I'd like to start texturing our character. I'd like to start with this skin. So the skin of our character. So what we can do here, we can switch. Let me just show you. So in the object mode, we can switch it to the texture paint here. And now we can start painting. So we can press F to increase the size of the brush. So let's increase it like this. So we can start painting on our character. So I'd like to be affecting only the skin. So let me just control Z here. And also here for this, I don't want to see. So we can switch the view to the paint. Let me just find the right one. Yeah, the masks. So I, ju I just would like to see the reference here. So let's continue. So here I'd like to work on the skin. So to work on the skin, we can check here the mask. We can press Alt A to deselect all these elements and we can select only the skin parts using the L. You can press L here. Also the body. So let's press L on the body. Nice. So now I'd like to give it this color here. So what we can do, we can use the fill bucket or this bucket tool. And we can click on this color and I'd like to use this eyedropper to pick the skin color that we got here. And we can just click to fill that part. And as you can see, we got the skin. So you can also see that the skin is painted on the UV map. So we are on the right track. So let's work on our skin to make it look better. So first I'd like to make the cheeks, give it that pink touch here, similar to what we got here. So to do that, we need to go back to the draw tool and here we can pick, let me just pick this color from here. It's a little bit pinky. So we can make it reddish 
because we're going to be controlling the strength later. And we can start brushing here. But also I want you to be checking the X memory. So control Z, let me just sort of back. So if you scroll here all the way to the end, you're going to find this X, Y, and Z memory. So you can just check it here. So now if you paint, if you click uh, to paint here, you're going to be seeing that on the other side. Because as you can, as you can see, or as you know, our character is symmetrical. So we can use this. So control Z to reverse back. Also here for the strength, I'd like to reduce it down to something like 0 0.15. And for the brush, we can press F to increase its size. And let's just paint here. There we go. So something like that looks pretty much good. Also here around the eyes, we can do the same thing. I'm going to just press F to reduce the size of the brush. And let's paint a little bit around the eyes here. Also here on the bottom. We can also reduce the strength again to 0 0.1. And we can add a slight touch to the nose. So I think, yeah, something like this. We can take it a little bit up. Let me just see. Yeah, that looks good. Also for the mouth, so we can work on the mouth. So on the edit mode, I like to select only the mouth parts. We can shift alt to select all those parts. Also here. And we can paint here. So for the mouth, it should not be pinky because if you make it pink, so our character is going to look like a girl. So we need to make it a little bit dark. So here, let's, let's darken that. And we can just paint here. So you can press A to see everything. So we got a slight touch here. That's good. So we got a nice mouth. Also, I like the outfit. It looks like a mafia guy. All right, so let's continue. So I'd like to work a little bit on the hands. So let me just pick this brownish pinkish color that we got here and we can improve a little bit the arms but also we have to check only the skin so alt a to deselect everything and we can select only the skin and let's add here a touch i'd like to increase the strength to 0 0.5 so something like this for the arms that's good so the top section of the arm so it needs to be a little bit dark. That's good. Also here for the chest, we can play a little bit with the chest here. So now I'd like to paint the hat of our character. So the hat looks a little bit funny. So it has these large red bottles. So let's go ahead and create that. So I'd like to press Alt A to deselect everything. So next I'd like to press L to select only the hat and we can press 1 to face it from the front. Then we can press 5. So now we are facing it from the front. So we can tilt just a little bit to the top here. And we can press F to increase the size of the brush. But we, before we can start painting, we have to paint the... We have to fill it with the white color. So let's click on fill. We can pick again this white color that we got. So let's pick it here. And next we can go back to the draw. And we can start painting these red puddles. But before we can do that, we have this black edge. So let's start with the black edge first. So I'd like to make this part completely dark. And we can press F to increase the size of the brush. And we can just click here. But if we click, so it's not painting correctly. So let me just first increase the strength to 1. And let's give it a try. There we go. We got it. But the edges are not well defined. So what we can do, we can change this. Uh, let me just show you the fall off so we can change it from smooth to constant so now let's give it another try so now the edges they will be completely perfect but also for example here so you might need to uncheck the x mirroring because you might have this problem here so if you tilt just a little bit so let me just activate the x here so that you can show you so you can be having this big puddle. So instead of doing that, so if you are painting on the front, so it's a good idea to uncheck the X mirroring. I can just paint here like this. So now we got a perfect circle. But here for the edges, we have to check the X mirroring. So by the way, I'm checking the X mirroring because this is the X mirroring. So if your character is facing the Y like this, you can check the X, the Y instead of the X. So now 
with XMR en enabled. So let's click here. There we go. So we got the side. I think I'm gonna increase the size of this bottle here. So let's just increase it up. You can press F and click like this. There we go. So we got those nice bottles. Also, let's add another one here on the back. Press F a little bit to increase it. There we go. So now we got four puddles. So now for the other color, which is red. So let's just pick here the red color. You can just pick the exact red that we got in our puddle here. And what we can do, we can just reduce the size of the brush here. So let's just press F to increase its size just a bit. And we can just click. Uh, nope. We don't have a good match because again we are using that X Marine. So let me just uncheck it here. And let's go ahead and redo that. Perfect. So we got that nice red circle. And you can basically just do the same thing to the other puddles that we got, the one on the side and the one on the back. So now it's time to texture the clothing of our character. So let's start with the jacket. I'm gonna press Alt A to deselect everything. Let's select the jacket by pressing L and let's work on it. So first we have to give it a red color. So I'm gonna be brushing it using the fill tool and let's pick. For this color we can pick the exact red that we got here. There we go. And for the edges we got this other color. So I'm gonna be using the draw tool again. And let's pick that bluish or yellowish color and we can start painting let me just press f to reduce the size of the brush we can start painting so we have to check that the x marine is enabled because our jacket is symmetrical so let's start painting like this so that's nice but we have a problem here so as you can see this edge is not perfect so it's wobbling a little bit so i'm going to show you a better way to handle this to fix this problem and just revert back so we can use a stabilize stroke. So let's go here to the stroke and we can check this stabilize. So now we're going to be more stable when brushing. So check this out. It's going to be really nice. So I think I'm going to just reduce this layer. So control Z, let me just revert back, press F to reduce, reduce the size of that brush. And let's start brushing like this. Go all the way to the bottom. And here we can continue this way. Just like this all the way till the end. So just take your time with it because you have the time. Not like me, I'm making a tutorial here. So just, just take your time with it until you got a perfect edge line here. So you can always revert back, control Z and make it perfect. Also, you can add that extra edge. Let me just make it a little bit thicker. Also, you can add the black edge. So let me just go back here and use the black again. Any black that we got, we can press F to reduce, to reduce its size. And let's start from the top like this. We can go all the way to the bottom. Also here, we can start from this position and make it turn around the jackets. So we got that line. So now let's work on the pants. So for the pants, we can press Alt A, let's select only the pants. So I'd like to start with the fill tool. So let's fill it with the white color, something like that. And also we can use the draw. We can make it a little bit, yeah, let's keep it black. So I'm gonna press F to increase its size and we can paint here. I think that's a little bit too much for the crust. So you can just create something like this. That's good. So we got the pants. So now for this heart, let's work on it. Alt A again to deselect everything, select only the heart. And here what I'd like to do, we have to fill it with the red. So let's use the fill tool. So it's gonna be red. We can click on it to fill it with red. And here let's use the draw tool. And we can paint the edge with the, with the black like this. We can continue that turn, something like that. So the last step is going to be to work on the shoes. So Alt A, press L to select the shoes. And let's give them that base color, which is this brownish nice color. So we can pick it from here. Click, 
there we go and also we can make it look a little bit interesting let me just select use the draw we can pick darker brown we can press f and let's highlight the bottom like this okay we can add here a little bit of a twist and basically that's it so we got our character textured so this is the way to texture so make sure to save your image texture so just save it here also to fix this problem that we got here this edge so what we can do we can play a little bit of a trick let me just click here so we can play a trick here i'd like to press f we need to know this edge where is it so i'm gonna just play a little bit like this and we have to find this part here there we go this is the one so as you can see here we have the, we're having this dark part so that needs to be covered with white so what we can do here we can switch let me just press Control space and right here so let's switch this from the uv map to the image editor and here instead of view we can switch it to paint let me just press the t and we can paint here with the white let me just check the color so the color needs to be completely white so let's just take it all the way to white or actually we can just pick the same white color that we got here and now we can just paint here like this so you can see that we are losing that annoying black edge you can just take it all the way till the top so we still got this Let me just paint everything here. There we go. So now we are good to go. All right, so here we go. We finished texturing our character to make it look like the reference image. So if you have any questions, let me know. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in future projects. Take care.